Hello all, welcome to Nomam YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how to install Robusta, the popular open source software for Kubernetes. We'll take you through the entire process of installation. This video is perfect for anyone new to Robusta or looking for a refresher on installation. To set the context, we have prepared the simple content which includes introduction, requirements, installation process, finally testing. There is no big deal. Let's dive into it. We'll see the introduction first. Robusta is a tool that provides many unique features. We have sorted out popular of them. One is multi-cluster availability. When I say multi-cluster availability, it is a feature in Robusta that helps you to keep track of your application's health, performance and to detect any issues in the early stages and also resolve them before they impact your users. With Robusta multi-cluster observability, you can get a complete overview of your application architecture including its microservices, pods, nodes, etc. So secondly, automation engine. So this is another pillar feature in Robusta that take automated action when an event occurs. For example, if you have configured health checks on any of the pod, by any reason if pod health is not good, then the automation engine will remediate the problem automatically or in some cases it will collect the evidence of the incident to investigate the issue in later phase. Next cluster timeline. Cluster timeline is a unified timeline which come up with the real time metrics, logs and it will make the developer life easy to diagnose and resolve issues quickly. And another important thing is alerting system. You can set up alerts and notifications through multiple channels including Slack, Telegram, Microsoft Teams. Whenever a critical issue occurs, you can respond in a real time by you know using these notifications. You can also build the customized dashboards for the same. Finally, the more resilient and user friendly UI. So these are all the things which Robusta provides. To bring this Robusta setup into your cluster, you need to follow, have some requirements. So we'll see that requirements now. To set up this Robusta, you need a Kubernetes cluster and Python 3.7 plus environment you need and also you need to have a Helm package manager. Finally, Slack account uh, to configure your uh, alerts and all. So these four things we need. Of how to set up AKS cluster, we have made a video for the same already in our Nomam YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description. Once you finish setting up AKS cluster, you can continue with this demo. Enough with the theory. Let's pull up our devices and get started with the hands-on demo. As I have already mentioned, for Kubernetes cluster setup, I'm using AKS. I have already provisioned uh, a cluster named Robusta cluster. So to get into it, what we'll do, I'll just open my browser and search for Robusta installation. I'll follow the official documentation. If you go down, here they have mentioned pip install Robusta CLI. Robusta CLI we need to install first. For that we need Python. So pip install, this is the command. As I'm using uh, Linux mission, there might be little change for me. Instead of pip, I need to use pip3. So I'll go to my machine. If you see here, it is telling Python pip3 is not there. So what I'll do, 
I'll install pip3 first by using this command. It will take a while. Now that pip3 is installed, I'll try to execute the previous command, robusta CLI installation command. See now it is getting installed. So robusta CLI is installed. So next would be we need to generate config file for our uh, robusta installation. So I just copied that command and clear the screen. I'll paste it here. Robusta gen config. So it is asking me to integrate with Slack. Yes. So we need to validate our Slack credentials by going visiting this URL. I'll just paste this URL in my browser. So I'll click on add to Slack. So here it is asking for permission. Hello. So it is successfully connected with the Slack. We'll go to command line again. So here it fetched my account details of no ma'am. Which Slack channel should I send the notification? It is asking to uh, which uh, channel we need to send the notifications. What we'll do? We'll give a name Robusta Notifications. Okay, it is throwing some error. Robusta Notifications was not found. What we'll do? We'll create a channel with this name first. I'll go to my Slack here. I'll just channels, add channels, create a channel. I'll provide the name robust notifications okay create skip for now robust notifications is created what i'll do i'll try to give the same name again now okay it is not throwing an error so again it is asking configure ms teams integration for now slack is enough for me i'll go with no Robusta UI sync. So as we have already discussed, it has very good user friendly UI. So I want to make use of that UI. So I will say yes. So it is asking me to enter my email address. Okay. Email address. So it is asking for different email ID. I have another email ID. I have provided a name. Okay, now, so it is dealing uh, with Prometheus as an alert source. So it is asking to get, uh, can I install Prometheus or not? So if you have already uh, installed Prometheus, you can go with no. So I don't have any Prometheus installations with me. So what I'll do, I'll say yes. Do you accept end user like uh, license agreement? Yes, obviously. Do, do you like to help us improve Robusta by sending exception reports? Yes, why not? So if you see now, it generated this values.ml that we'll use in our next steps. Okay, we'll go to installation guide. So here we have uh, use generated config file. Now here we'll use this command helm. So what it will do? It will fetch all the helm uh, robusta related uh, information as a package and keep it in our local. Okay, update successfully completed. Now what we'll do? 
will install helm by using this command what i'll do only the change here instead of the default cluster name i'm providing my cluster name to verify again so it is robusta cluster so i'll make use of the name robusta cluster okay i'll copy i'll paste this command here it will take some time to get it installed if you see the installation is completed and also you can make use of uh, ui by visiting this particular url now what i'll do i'll just copy this url so i'll paste it in my browser here okay it is asking for my um, okay it is logged in anyways so these are the things which is there already in our cluster so to check with that you can see kubectl get pods okay it is setting up with all the robust related information prometheus everything it configured okay now that we have set up uh, installation and all so how do we test it right so for that in this installation document only they have given some exercise to create a crash pod so what we'll do we'll execute this command to create a crash pod see the deployment crash pod is created what i'll do kubectl get pods if you see here a crash pod it is created and it is in crash loop status so what it will do whenever we have some kind of defects in our deployments like this crash loop back or image pullback any sort of errors it will trigger a notification through our slack channel which we have created in earlier steps so what will do we'll go to slack see in robusta notifications if you see here is the notification so 1240 1240 so what it is saying crash pod so if you want you can investigate the issue and what is the reason you can easily get an idea what is happening with our cluster and also in ui also you can observe the same see the first crash pod you can click here and i can see all the events which are occurring as we already talked about timeline so when uh, the events are occurring that complete details will be shown here so this is all about uh, robust uh, installation you can play it around it uh, there are lots and lots of options available to summarize the installation of robust is an easy and straightforward process and they have very well documented each and every uh, thing in a simple steps so go ahead visit their website i'll provide the link in this video description and join the community of their developers who are creating such an amazing product with most importantly remember to subscribe to our channel no ma'am for more exciting and informative content thank you